Today we're talking about mushrooms and yes, those kinds. Hello, welcome back to my tea time. Shally here. Let's get into it. Everyone's psychedelic experiences are personal and subjective. People could have blissful trips or even terrifying ones. The subconscious mind is usually asleep and it's awakened under the influence of psilocybin. And this can really bring up all types of suppressed emotions to the surface. I personally love mushrooms. <laughs> I love them. I discovered them. I tried them when I was in high school once and it was like, eh. And then I dabbled them again in college and it was like, eh. And then it was a couple years ago when I got really used them like intentionally and I loved them. I loved it. I loved the way it made me feel. I loved the way it made me think. I love how I felt so open to talk about the things that have just been like in the back of my mind. Like I loved how, I just loved how expansive. I love how expansive they make me feel. I recently came across this meme, it was really funny. So the guy is like, mushrooms healed me. And the friend was like, mushrooms didn't heal you. They showed you how to heal yourself. And the guy was like, <laughs> because it's true, you heal yourself but what the mushrooms do is, like I said before, they bring up suppressed emotions from the past. They bring up things to the forefront of your brain so that you have no choice but to think about them and talk about them. And it makes you comfortable with that, right? Whether you're microdosing or macrodosing, I believe that mushrooms help to form new neural pathways in your brain. So say you're looking this way and these, these this is where you're normally looking. And these neural pathways of like addiction, anxiety, depression, PTSD, and it's just, firing and wiring back and forth, back and forth. And then when you're on mushrooms, you're now looking over here and it's like bliss, happiness, creativity. And you're going and you're not even paying attention to what's going on over here. So the more you're looking over here, the more you're paying attention to these new neural pathways that are being formed and they're gonna be stronger and stronger and stronger. And then these ones over here are gonna be weakened and weakened and just eventually fall away. That's why I think that they really help people heal all these mental health issues like anxiety and depression and addiction and whatnot. It really helped me with those things specifically. I didn't even realize that I was anxious or had depression or was even battling an addiction until I wasn't anymore. Seriously, and the mushrooms helped me so much with that, like so much. You just become more open-minded. Like I said, it brings stuff that's buried in your subconscious to the forefront. Which side note could be good or bad? I don't believe that there's good or bad trips. I just believe that there's more blissful and more intense ones. And the intensity of it is, I feel like determined by the level of trauma and suppressed emotions that are buried in the back of your head that you have just been pushing away and not looking at. And it comes to the front and it's like, shit oh my gosh, and you're forced to think about all these things again, whatnot, but it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. Things need to come up to be cleared out. So a bad trip actually brings a lot of amazing breakthroughs and a lot of healing because it brings things up that you needed to think about, that you needed to work through and you needed to just let go. And doing mushrooms regularly, whether like I said, you're microdosing or macrodosing, it helps you learn how to heal yourself. So different practices, literally just like going to therapy or doing yoga or journaling or just different emotional healing practices that you might have heard of before, but were reluctant to do, you're way more accepting to do them now. Going to therapy doesn't seem like that bad of an idea. Taking out a pen and journaling your thoughts when you're upset actually really helps. So I just love that it just opens your mind to all the possibilities of the way that you can heal yourself. Because essentially you can heal yourself. Sometimes we just don't know that. And mushrooms really help us to make us realize that. To be honest, microdosing mushrooms and macrodosing helped me realize so much, not only about myself, but about the world we live in. First of all, we live in a matrix. I'm not gonna get that deep into it. Just know that we live in a matrix and we actually have the power to like break free from it and live lives that are authentic to ourselves. You just have to get to that mental space to realize that that's even possible. And once you do, it's like, ah. <laughs> Microdosing regularly and just diving, literally diving deep into myself taught me how much I was lacking self-love and how I really was not that fond of myself. When you realize that you allow people to treat you like crap or you lost certain situations or whatever, you realize you don't love yourself that much. And I realized that about myself. So it really helped me to then turn all that love that I used to so effortlessly push out onto others and put that back into myself. 
I still show others love, but I show myself love wholeheartedly and first. And I really owe that to my psychedelic experience because I never realized that until I started opening my mind and seeing myself from a different perspective, seeing my situations from a different perspective. And now I love myself so much more and I just love everything about me inside and out and I'm finding new things to love about myself and it's just, it's amazing. The relationship that you have with yourself is the most important one you'll ever have. Using mushrooms helped to heal a lot of traumas within me, a lot of suppressed emotions and things that I forcefully tried to forget. You can't drink enough and do enough drugs and date enough people and run away from your problem. You literally can't, it doesn't work like that. Imagine that your problems are in a backpack. You have a backpack when you're born and your problems are rocks. And every time you endure trauma or whatever, it's a new rock and you put it in your backpack. You're trying to run from your problems. You're trying to run from it, but they're on your back. They're not going anywhere. They're with you. You have to stop, take off your backpack and unpack the rocks, unpack the trauma. And doing mushrooms regularly and just off and on just doing mushrooms really helped me to learn how to unpack my trauma, how to deal with my traumas and heal from all that pain of the circumstances that I went through. Mushrooms did so many great things for me, but one of the best things that I love that it does is it really helps you to tap into your creativity. And by tapping into my creativity, I was able to just align with my passions and my purpose so effortlessly. It was like, aha, uh -huh, duh, it's been in front of my face this whole freaking time. I was just so busy thinking about everything else that I didn't even see it. So microdosing in general really helps people to be more creative. And I, I just figured out what I wanna do in life and who I wanna be and who I am and what type of work and that I wanna pour myself into, my purpose, if you will. Using mushrooms also unknowingly helped me overcome addiction. I didn't realize that I had an issue with drinking alcohol. I just didn't, it was just normal. You know, we live in a society where so many people just normally drink and get drunk all the time, every weekend, multiple times a week, that as long as you're not as drunk as that guy sitting next to you or your other friend doing that, you don't think you're that bad. And then it's like, mm, if you're using a substance to escape, whether it's drinking alcohol, eating food, shopping, you know what I mean? A sex, anything, if you're using something to escape from a negative emotion, it's a problem. And when I realized that I was using alcohol as an escape problem, I was able to stop and remedy that situation. And now I have no issues with facing any sort of negative emotion that comes up in my life. I know how to deal with it now. And I know how to deal with it quickly and effectively. And I really, really, really owe that to mushrooms. It really just helped me see the perspective of how I was dealing with my emotions and myself from a new light. Mushrooms come from the earth. They're a very natural substance. So with that being so natural, they really help you to connect to nature and then connect to God. They're a very spiritual medicine. Like they're a sacred spiritual medicine. They've been used for so long from different cultures for spiritual purposes. The sacredness of them is so true. That's why when you take them and you take them with intention, the feeling that you feel, the connection that you have to yourself, to God, to the earth is unmatched. And it's just like you're a new, renewed person. I absolutely love the spiritual aspects of using psilocybin. Compared to some other psychedelics, I just love the spiritual aspect of psilocybin mushrooms. They also helped me to be more present and live in the moment. The only moment that exists is right now right now. The past is literally just memories in your head and the future hasn't even happened yet. So thinking and overanalyzing the past is literally just gonna stress you out, make you depressed. And the same thing's gonna happen if you're worrying about the future. Neither of them exists, only right now exists. And when you live in the present moment, you're really living and you're just really happy and content because this is the moment they exist. The only moment that exists is right now. You just need to make the most of right now. If you wanna live your happiest, most content and present life, be one with the present. <laughs> Mushrooms are not for everybody and I'm in no way condoning you to use them and you know the different laws and different countries and whatnot i know it varies i just wanted to explain to you that they're really not that scary they have a lot of positive benefits and how that they've positively impacted my life there's such a stigma behind them and i'm just really trying to help people break the mental stigma that they have of such an amazing sacred plant that could do wonders for the world They've helped me so much and I'm just truly so grateful for them.
that's all I have today. I really hope that this gave you some kind of clarity if you're wondering more about psilocybin or just mushrooms and psychedelics and whatnot. If you enjoyed this type of video and this type of content, let me know in the comments. I could talk about this all day long. I love mushrooms, all the different ways that I take them, all the different experiences I had, the different dosages, the amounts, whatnot, let me know. I would love to talk about this. I hope you have a great day. And as always, stay healthy, happy, and hydrated. Bye.